he's got bone cancer. It started in his bones. It's actually spread into his lungs now. He's also been diagnosed with complete renal failure. Um, he's currently on dialysis three days a week. So it's, it's a struggle every day. We're not sure how long he's got. We are originally going to get married June 21st. I couldn't wait till June to get married. Then I wanted my dad to be there. I decided then, didn't ask Mike if he wanted to bump it up. I told him. <laughs> I was like, we're bumping it up. He's like, when? I said, Friday. <laughs> and we prepared for ourselves for that, but we didn't know it was going to be that soon and quick. He was all for it. He knows that I want my dad there, and he knew I wanted him to attempt to escort me down the aisle. When I got report on Tuesday and found out that there would be a wedding on Friday, um, I was really excited to be a part of it. The daughter mentioned it to one of the nurses and basically the, the nurse Beth, she came to me and she says, I have an idea. Do you think we can put all this together? And I'm like, sure. Well, my first thought was just excitement uh, for them in being able to do this while their father is still here. Up until about an hour before, I don't think he knew. When I was going to his room to get him dressed uh, with the suit, I was really, I was a little nervous. I was excited as well. And he said, you go into a pretty room. I said, okay, so, but you need a jacket and a shirt. I said, okay, oh yeah, that's fine. He says, you know, I got this feeling that it's more than just pictures. And I said, well, we're definitely going to be taking pictures with your grandkids. And he says, well, okay, okay, it's, it's all right. And I knew what it was then. And I just couldn't hold it together. And poor Crystal, she just said, Daddy, don't cry because I've held it together. And she seemed to have had. I said, no. I said, you stop it. You cannot make me cry. You cannot make me mess up my makeup. And I think that broke all the tension. It was beautiful. And I just kept turning around, watching my dad and seeing the smile on his face. He was so proud of me. For him to see her get married, it meant the world to him. Closer to home, the atrium at Moses Cone Hospital turned into a wedding chapel to help make a bride's dream come true. I'm very surprised that this story has gotten so much attention. Um, it is such a good humanity story that needed the attention and sometimes doesn't get the attention, but this one did. I just thought it was sweet. It made me cry. <laughs> I felt blessed. Um, it was like, wow, they allowed us to really share this special moment with them. Um, it, it, it was the joy. I felt like this is what it's all about. We cannot thank you enough from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you but from the very bottom of my heart. That just meant more to me than you'll ever know. I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. You can make me cry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Crystal and Mike, thank you so much for letting me be a part of your wedding day. Um, I'm honored that I got to be a part of it. So I wish you all the best and many, 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 many years to come. Good luck, guys.